Mugabe has resigned. Zimbabwe's ruling party has made a motion to impeach President Robert Mugabe and opposition party MDC has seconded it. Follow the live updates. The Zimbabwean speaker has announced the President Robert Mugabe has resigned after being in office for 37 years. Here's how impeachment works in Zimbabwe. An expert on Zimbabwean law says impeachment is a process that requires a vote, a committee investigation and a second vote. Derek Matisak, senior researcher for the Institute for Security Studies, says the first step is for both houses of parliament to pass the impeachment motion by a 50% majority. Then a joint committee is formed to investigate allegations and determine if there is adequate evidence that Mugabe should be impeached. If the committee recommends impeachment, both houses must pass the impeachment by a two-thirds majority which is at least 233 seats of the 347 seat total. Matty Sock says that the moment they vote to accept the report and impeach Mugabe, he loses office. The constitution is clear about that. Mugabe can appeal to the judiciary but he would be out of office. It is not clear how long the process will take or how extensive the investigation would be, including with possible testimony from Mugabe. Matty Sock says that I think it will be fast-tracked, but they want to take enough time to give the proceedings an air of propriety. They want this to look like a legitimate proceeding. That could be done so the final vote is on Wednesday or Thursday. Parliament is currently hearing allegations and has not yet formed a committee.